Okay, hey everybody. Uh, one question I've been getting asked a lot about recently is how I can keep smiling even when I'm like super far behind in sets or games, uh, and how I can kind of keep positive and kind of come back in those sort of situations. Uh, and basically all that is, is my mentality. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about mentality, uh, what a good or a bad mentality looks like, and how you can improve your mentality uh, for the future. Uh, so first of all, why is mentality important? Um, so having good mentality is the difference between making that super close comeback uh, when you're down or flubbing the important combo that you really really need to kill uh, when you have that confirm and you just like slightly mess up I think mentality is one of the big things that makes the difference there um, it prevents you from going on tilt which is like a really big issue for a lot of players um, they'll get into a position that's good for them um, they'll either be in like a, a large advantage or they or, or when they're really far behind. Either one can sometimes put you on tilt. Um, and then you kind of start thinking about other things. You lose concentration. Uh, you start playing worse. Uh, so that's one thing that you want to avoid is going on tilt. Uh, so yeah, most importantly, it lets you enjoy playing the game, which I think a lot of people have lost track of in the last little while. Um, there are people who even, even when they win, are very, very upset with how they played or how the game went. Uh, and I think enjoying the game is something that's extremely important because, I mean, when it comes down to it, it is just a, a game that we're playing with friends. And I think I think we do need to kind of keep track of that. Um, not saying that it isn't important to people because it most definitely is. But if you're going to be able to enjoy it, you're going to do better as, as well. So what does a good or a bad mentality look like? Um, so basically, I think that any any additional pressure besides like actually things that are in the game are going to cause you to play worse. So if you're thinking about, oh no, if I lose this game, I'm going to have to play this person in loser's bracket. I think that's bad. If while you're playing, you're thinking about, oh no, I need to win this set because my goal is to make top eight and I I, I really want to do that. I think that's, I think that's bad. Uh, I think that anything that's causing you to think about something different other than the match itself while you're playing is is bad. Um, I think most of the mentality issues, like most of those things that you're actually thinking about are, are due to like a fear of losing. Um, you either don't want to lose because you don't want to play, play that demon in loser's bracket. You don't want to lose because you want to, you want to reach your goal that you have set for yourself. Um, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of different examples of just like fear of losing or even just straight up being just afraid of losing. You just really, really don't want to lose because you don't want to feel that kind of like that kind of sadness that comes with losing or that that sadness that some people get when they lose um and when you have that when you have that like fear of losing and it's kind of like taking over your mentality you don't think about confirms you don't think about um you don't think about what your opponent's doing you don't think about what you could be doing better there's so many things that um you could be thinking about that point but you're thinking i don't want to lose i can't lose this or this will happen um, and that really, really takes away from what you could be doing in game. Um, and there are, there are many different examples of this, like affecting people's gameplay. Um, I think civil war is a really, really good example of this. When you see all of the top players who dropped into losers bracket or just got eliminated extremely early. I think that's what, that's what it comes down to is that, that fear of losing, taking over their play. So basically at civil war. Those top players have so much pressure on them. This is the biggest tournament of the year. This is the one that everybody wants to do well at. Circuit points for 2GGC are doubled. Uh, and then everybody has so much to lose, right? So everybody is so afraid of losing. All these top players that are expected to do well, they have those expectations on them. Um, and because of that, they they played scared and they and they lost for it. But you see those people with the, with no expectations. You see those, those Japanese players that aren't really like that well i mean they, they're known but they don't have that level of expectation on them they aren't pgr you know they they just they just come out and they just wanted to do their best and i think that's that's something that's extremely important not having that fear of losing and just having that drive to play your best i think is something that's extremely important uh because if you're thinking about those issues while you're playing they're going to bleed into your game and cause you to cause you to screw up um so how do you turn a bad mentality into a good mentality um there's a lot of ways to do this. It's not, it's not like a, this is what you have to do to make your bad mentality a good mentality. It's not really that simple. It's going to be different for everybody, but there are a couple of strategies that I really, really like, and I've found that work 
well for a lot of different people and i'm going to share i'm going to share my favorite one with you guys today and that's just to focus on learning rather than focusing on winning or losing um and i know that kind of sounds weird because it's like well shouldn't i want to win and yeah you should want to win but what you sh should be focusing on isn't winning you should be focusing on learning um in the end what makes you win is your knowledge your confirms like everything all, all these things that go into your game and to improve on those you just have to learn so if you really really want to win what you really should be wanting to do is you should want to learn um and that's extremely important so what you should do is every set you play make your make your goal to learn from it as long as you're learning something from every set you're going to be becoming a better player even if it's something like extremely small you just have to make sure that you're learning something from every set that also takes away a little bit from the the fear of losing and the pain of losing because you know that even if you're losing you're going to be learning something and you're going to lose less in the future in losses as well you're generally learning more than in your wins because people are picking out your habits you're able to kind of see what you're doing wrong and so in those situations it's actually even better for you because it allows you to to know that you're learning more uh, and that's that's what really keeps me going as far as like my losses and that stuff i can just i can just focus on learning and i'm like well i lost game five that's okay i learned a lot from that set i can smile you know i can i can be happy about it um and that's what that's what really keeps me going and i think that also it not only helps your game in the long run because you're learning more but it also helps your game in the short term because you're not thinking about all these these other like expectations or problems you're going to have during the set but you're thinking about what actually matters you're thinking about how you can beat them you're thinking about what options they're going to do you're thinking about what options you can do you're thinking about all the correct stuff when you're trying to learn learning will foc like help you focus on the correct things to think about and i think that's extremely important um now i know this is easy to say and not easy to do um because I mean, just completely saying, I don't care if I lose is, is really, really hard. People are very attached to results. And I think, I think a lot of people are, are driven by that, right? They're driven by results mean I'm a good or a bad player. I think once, once you detach yourself from the whole, um, from caring too much about your results, caring too much about like sets winning or losing, it'll help you a enjoy the, enjoy the game more because you're not like worried about like, oh no, I need to win this set. I need to do this. Um, it, it lets you play better it lets you take losses easier as well you can take a loss and still smile and just be like well i learned right that's the important thing um i think i think overall just like focusing on learning is such a big boost to mentality there are a lot of like small things you can do to improve your mentality as well um like i do a few small things like i chew gum while i play which just kind of like helps me calm down which is a pretty small thing but like if it works it works you know uh, as well as I don't look too much at the brackets beforehand. So if I'm in if I'm in winner's bracket and I know that like a certain player that I don't want to play is in loser's bracket, I don't have to worry about that, right? I don't look too far at brackets. I don't say, oh no, if I lose this, I'll have to play this person in loser's bracket. Or if I win this, I'm going to have to play zero. You know, it's I, I, I try not to think about that stuff uh, because those are some things that can kind of distract you during the set. Okay, so main points. Mentality is extremely important, especially in the clutch situations. That game five at the big event that you really want to do well at, that's going to be decided by your mentality. That's going to decide whether you hit that clutch, that clutch confirm, or you flub it. Um, or whether you're just playing solid, more solid because of your mentality being in the right place. Um, so basically, you need to completely isolate yourself from other expectations and other other worries while you're playing you need to just be focusing on the game completely this will prevent you from autopiloting this will prevent you from from playing worse so basically you need to you need to get rid of the fear of losing that's the biggest one you need to not be afraid of losing um, and then you also just need to not think about the other stuff you need to not think about what's going to happen if you lose what's going to happen if you win you need to you just need to isolate all of that and just focus on playing the game and to do that, I think the best way is to focus on learning rather than winning or losing. Every set, you focus on learning. That takes away from the, the fear of losing. You'll improve more. You'll be able to take losses easier. And you'll be able to have more fun while you're doing it. 
I know it's not that easy, but it's going to be something that helps you in the long run. Uh, if you guys, this is kind of like a quick overview of my mentality and like how I play the game. Obviously, if you guys have questions about it, please let me know. Um, I'll be happy to answer them either on Twitter or, um, yeah, honestly, probably on Twitter. And I'm not too excited about using YouTube comments. <laughs> um, so, uh, but please let me know if you have any, have any issues or questions about this. Um, and I'd be happy to, to answer and help out. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. I know this is going to be kind of, kind of rough. This is kind of like the first time I've done something like this, but thank you for bearing with me. And, um, I'll talk to you guys next time.